If I hear the pastor or the church mother saying one more time, I'm going to scream. You know when God sent the right one for you, baby. Hmm. If I hear just one more time, just be patient and wait on the Lord, sugar. God knows what you need and when you need it. I'm going to lose it in church. And don't let it be no single man sitting next to me for my neighbor. Because my neighbor, on turn to your neighbor, going to turn into, I'm going to slap him in the mouth. What is wrong with these men? I am a good woman. I'm godly. I submit. I know the word inside and out. So it must be the men. <laughs> I even have ex-boyfriends calling me, and there's a lot of them because I don't play that. He's talking about, what's wrong with the men down there? Ain't nobody snatched you up yet? What's wrong with them? You know what? That's why you're calling from your backup cell phone because your wife checks the real one. You know what? He didn't marry me, so that's just the line anyway. Wow. You know what? I'm good. I have a life. Yeah, I'm busy. I have choir rehearsal on Tuesdays, have women's circle meetings on Thursday nights, and every Friday, every other month, me and the singles hang out. So, you know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight. If anybody disappoints, well, I just remind myself that I am as good as I am. Yes, that God is working out the one for me. I meditate. Woosah. And then it happens again. God, where is he? And it just happened again, child. Yeah. I see him every week, every Sunday. Yeah. Coming to church. Sometimes twice services. Yeah. Every week during Bible study, he's there. So, you know, I made a few tinache inquiries, you know, just to see what it's about. And you seem like a really nice guy. Yeah. This one seemed like it would disappoint. This one might be bonehead material. Yeah. You know, jackpot. So um, a few weeks went by, about three to be exact. And then it happened. <laughs> I finally caught his eye. <laughs> well, he said hello. And, uh, you know, we talked Bible. And he, he, he said that he's noticed me and all the things that I've been doing in the church. I said, he noticed me? Wow. Okay, well, no, no, let me get too excited because, you know, this how to see what he's about and everything, you know what I mean. But we talked Bible, we met, and we said, uh, we'll go out. It's an unspoken rule, you know, that he would pay. We would, you know, respect each other's space, you know, keep it holy, you know what I'm saying. Child, if he was not the biggest freak, I mean, by dessert, he was already talking about his favorite position. I was shocked. I didn't know how to take this guy. I mean, I'm embarrassed to say I did a background credit check on him and, you know, it seemed to be all right. <laughs> but I did not see this one coming. I'm like, what, what am I thinking? Well, well, do I put the ball back in his court? Or if, if I, is he testing me? Is he, is he wondering what I'm going to say? My reaction? If I, if I, if I go along with him, then what would he think about me? Or what would he tell people at church? But, you know, I stand my ground on this, and this is it. God, I mean, this is too much. This is the first date. You know, hell, I might as well be dating on the outside. So you have to understand, every time we had plans and dates, we had an unwritten agreement that you were contributing to the kitty. I've dealt with men like you all my life. I was raised in the church, and I blossomed early. Those two things didn't necessarily go together. I enjoyed the men and some of the boys looking me up and down. It made me feel pretty. And even though my family, classmates, and friends all noticed my assets, I slumped down in the pews and listened and got an understanding of how I should see my TNA. I got through high school with an overprotective grandmother and the Lord all over the back of my mind. I graduated college, put a few accomplishments under my belt, earned a few, prof earned a few professional awards, and earned a good living. God was taking care of me himself, but I was becoming a woman. Now, I won't say that I was being grown when I followed through on some of those admiring glances. No, not at all. I was simply grown, honey. I dated. 
had decent boyfriends, but I went through drama just to keep our thing exclusive. I said, Shh, I can do bad all by myself. So I did. All the drama didn't bring me a love and neither did these assets. Besides, the dating scene was getting dangerous just as I stepped in. So I decided to step out, cool it off, play it safe, and I was by myself. I only had good guy friends, and of course, only were protected. So I lived along on friends for a while, but that got old. When you're a friend, you can accept a lot of disappointment from friends. But when you're getting the good good, oh, you owe me a little more respect. Like when you say you're picking me up, you better show up. And when you say we're doing something, oh, we better do it. The lines were getting fuzzy, and I was starting to lose my dear friends. But I couldn't lose them because I didn't have many female friends on account of women being so insecure. Oh, wait a minute. Let me reset my swag and just keep myself busy. Hello? Who? Vernon? Do I remember you? Oh, it's been six years since you... Oh, you got out of jail today. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Right, yeah. Uh, yes. Well, oh, you, you stay with your baby mama. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh you just sleeping on the couch? Yes, I understand. You, you, you're not having sex. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, but she's carrying your fifth child. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, do I still go to church? Yes, I'm still going, I'm still in church every Sunday, every week. Yes, uh huh. Oh, you 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 sold your your, your mom's uh, boss cocaine. That's what happened. Oh, I see, I see. Am I married yet? No, no, not married yet. Uh uh uh. Yeah. Am I available? So I'll go out on a date with a man who says he knows a position that I'll be good for. <laughs> Doesn't he watch the news? Didn't he hear what happened to Herman Cain? Whatever. Anyway, I'm not looking for love anymore. I'd be crazy to at 30 something. Besides, these men are straight tripping. But I don't want to be alone. God, I really love you, but I'm just trying. God, I'm just trying. Not to become. Not to become her. Uh.